Hi, this is Dr. Craig Foote from Chiropractic Flight School, and we've just found our associate uh, uh, after the position's been advertised for just 10 days. Um, for those of you who have messaged me or showed interest, um, thank you so much for that. Uh, we have got a lot of response asking how do we do it in such a short period of time. And I'm going to share some of those things with you today, um, things that we've developed over a period uh, of time. Um, today I'm going to share with you three things that a, a principal should um, do when they're doing interviews and three things that a potential associate should consider before they get to an interview as well. So let's talk about the principal point of view. So this is what we do every single time we bring on a new staff member, whether it be a CA or a chiropractic um, or a chiropractor associate. And the very first thing we do is we look at the existing team and look at what attributes would this potential person need to have to complement our existing team. Uh, we have a big whiteboard, we get the team together and we look at that whiteboard and we fill it up with all the things that we would like to have. And that may be a, a, a list of attributes that has come from previous experiences with other chiropractic uh, associates. It might be through what you've learned over a period of time or just a genuine, um, you look at the team and you might say, we have a, a, don't have as much around this area. So some of the attributes we look for in a chiropractic associate are things like uh, good with children, um, has, must have a can-do attitude, um, uh, has, a, has a history of um, showing initiative, um, uh, has good people skills, good team player, um, all of these sorts of things are really important to us. Other things we, we do like to see, and just to let you know, is um, we do like to have them have a little bit of experience, uh, life in the field. Um, we, we sort of feel that they, um, th that tends to help us out, find the perfect associate for us. Now moving forward, we get this massive list or big list and we fill up a whole whiteboard. We get the team involved with that list as well. And then we put together the advertisement and that's the advertisement uh, is uh, what we obviously put out um, well, 10 days ago. Once we've done that, and the reason why we want to do this is because let's say we didn't do this attribute list and we have applications come through. What we're going to generally do is we're going to pick the best of whoever applies. And in one way, you might think that might be the, a really good thing to do. But really, what we want is the perfect associate. And the perfect associate must show all of those attributes. So what really then happens if we have this attribute list in front of us and we're doing the interview across the way with the uh, chiropractor, we can very quickly go, does this person have these things? And if they do, they do we continue. If they don't, we stop it pretty much right there and then. Sometimes in an interview, we don't get to learn as much about them, like we have a list of uh, questions in an interview, but sometimes they don't always tell us the things that we need to know to see if they've got those attributes. So this also becomes a way of, um, of asking questions of the associate too. Now the second thing a principal absolutely must do is to do reference checks. You don't have to do every single reference che check that the uh, associate has, but you know what, you do have to make the call um, and, and really do that. We've had um, interesting experiences over years is that, um, that people haven't done reference checks and we were the refer referee um, and had they done so, we may have given them a uh, different perspective of what they ended up doing. Um, long story short, make the call, ask them the hard questions is the number three. So. Asking the hard questions, um, understand this, it's very easy to employ someone, it's very difficult to let them go. So be particular about who's gonna jump into your team. And so you need to ask the hard questions to learn more about this particular person. Give them some role um, examples, give them some scenarios, ask the, um, the questions of the referee. Now the referee, you've got to understand, may not necessarily give them a glowing review. That's okay, 
because the maybe around the context of how they left their previous um, employment. But here's what the referees do. The referees will, will may very well bring up some questions that you may need to do a second interview for that particular associate. So, so just to recap for principals, do an attributes um, uh, list, uh, do a reference check and ask the hard questions and really um, make a, a decision based on those things. Now, let's look at the other flip side of the coin. Let's look at if you're looking for employment as an associate, then there's some things you need to do. Number one, you need to get in front of chiropractors. Don't expect to be handed a job if you've never met the person before. So the more times you get out there to conferences, to uh, doing observations, the more, much more chance you've got of getting that job. And also what happens is um, it's often that uh, jobs are done like gone before they're even advertised. So if you're not on that list, then you're not going to get the job that you want. Secondly, I would recommend that you check your references. Make sure that your references, um, people who, who you've got on your resume as references, actually have a good, um, good story to tell about you. They're not going to uh, say the wrong thing and things. So just make sure that you're very particular about who's on your reference checklist. Um, and, and with that, if it's not going to be a massively glowing report, set some context around that before the principal actually rings them up. The third thing I would love or would recommend, strongly recommend that you as a potential associate do is understand the risks associated with bringing an associate on from the principal's point of view. So do some homework actually understand that when we bring an associate on, there is actually risk for the principal. I'm not gonna go through those things, but you need to understand what's at stake for the principal. If you have found this uh, interesting, if you'd like to learn more, you can of course contact me about that. Um, as, a, uh, as an addition, we are actually doing um, a short course, an eight week short course starting February 6. Uh, it, um, it's, uh, it's filling up, we've only got four seats available. It's webinar based. If you can't be there at the exact time, you will get the recordings of the webinars. We will go through some curriculum, but if you do register, if, if you found that's something you wanna do, you wanna get 2018 off to a great start, if you did want to register, then uh, do it before the 30th of January. Uh, if you do that, you'll receive two big bonuses. Firstly, you will get uh, free access to the Art of Inspiring Referrals. Uh, that's one of our more popular modules that we, uh, we had last year. Um, and number two, you'll actually determine what content you would like covered in weeks uh, five through to seven. We are limiting numbers because we really want this to be an interactive webinar. We don't want to be just sort of standing, sitting there and telling you how it is. We want a bit of back and forward. So we are limiting those numbers. Uh, the price for this it will, will, or is sorry, $299 um, a, a month for two months. Um, that works out around 75 bucks a week and you will get those recordings and you can have them forever. Um, if, so if you would like me to cover in those weeks as that benefit, um, things like employing associates, uh, communication, uh, how to deal with um, uh, confrontation with patients, whatever it, whatever it is, you get the opportunity to have um, that say in that. So you get to determine that. But as I said, space is limited. If you want to be involved with that, you need to do it now. Uh, register in the link below and we will see you soon.